Thousands of government officials exposed in a new report for trading stock in companies that their very own agencies regulate. Our next guest is calling out the very clear and ongoing ethics violation and demanding House leadership take action. Pennsylvania Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick joins us now. Congressman, thanks so much for being here. Before we get into the topic real quick, here's a few more examples just to put some meat on the bone. So more than 1,800 officials held major tech stocks while scrutinizing those companies. More than 60 officials traded company stock before their departments announced enforcement. So you might say they have some inside information. More than 200 senior EPA officials invested in companies that were lobbying that very same agency. 400 White House and State Department staff bought Chinese stocks while the U.S. considered blacklisting certain companies in that country. And not on the screen is the Defense Department. Officials collectively own 1.2 million, 3.4 million of stock and aerospace defense companies. One particular official actually knew of a, bought a defense stock five times before it it won new business from the Pentagon. Uh, is, is this just everywhere, Congressman? Yeah, Pete, uh, good to see you this good morning. To see you. Um, Pete, Pete there's, a, there's a huge gap in the law on the civil side, uh, SEC Rule 10b-5, and on the criminal side, uh, Section 1348 of Title 18, uh, which deal with, quote, unquote, company insiders. They deal with people that have a fiduciary responsibility to the company, but it doesn't deal with anybody that have an oversight role, uh, and that would be government officials. That's members of Congress. Uh, through their committee assignments who have access to information that is not available to the public. And also, as you just referenced, uh, uh, executive branch officials. You have EPA officials trading in oil stocks. You have FDA officials trading in pharmaceuticals. You have DOD officials, as you just pointed out, defeating in, uh, the trading in defense um, uh, companies. So um, they have to fix that gap in the law. There's a, a number of bills out there, Pete. Uh, myself, Raj, Christian Morthy have one. Uh, it's H.R. 1579. But there's a number of them out there. They're bipartisan. This is one issue, Pete, by the way, that members of the Freedom Caucus and the Progressive Caucus all agree on. Hmm. You're not going to find that very often, yet Speaker Pelosi won't bring them to the floor. I mean, it's insider trading. That's exactly what it is, legal insider trading. They enrich themselves while they're supposed to be temporary public servants. You say there's an agreement on the left and the right, but what about the leadership? Let's say Republicans get the gavel. Is there an appetite to bring this kind of real ethics reform? I hope so. Um, I hope Kevin brings it. I believe he will. And I think that's a good way to show the difference between uh, the different leadership styles. Uh, when we take over uh, in January, I think the, uh, the American public are going to like what they see from H.R. 1 through H.R. 10, uh, which are going to be our top 10 priorities. I hope this is one of them, Pete, uh, because we see the markets fluctuating all over the place, going up or down two, three percentage points in a day. And that's largely because people are losing faith in the stability of the markets mm -hmm. and the amount of information that's disclosed out there. Um, and when we when we define fiduciary duty only as people inside the company and not people with an oversight role, uh, there's a huge gap in the law, and that's something that needs to be fixed. And there's legislation to fix it. Well, I don't know how. Uh, it, it seems like common sense to everybody else who's on the outside, but if you're in the inside and you get you can get rich, you start to uh, not being willing to vote for things like this. I appreciate you staying on it, uh, Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. And uh, by the way, last time I saw you, we were on the very river depicted in that painting behind you, Washington Cross from the Delaware. Appreciate your patriotism across the board. We hope to have you next year, Pete. I would love to. Thank you very much. If you missed that, by the way, it's on Fox Nation, Washington crossing the Delaware on Christmas. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.